Today on Dr. Cassette's Messy Workbench. The Thompson Model VTH6310G VCR. You have seen this thing before. This was the VCR that I originally wanted to use to try out my Orion LCD TV, but it didn't work. The thing was, I added these three RCA jacks as a composite video output and a stereo audio output, because originally this VCR only had the stupid unreliable SCART jacks that I hate so much. Now the problem was, in my originally, original wiring, I had it all hooked up to the wrong jack. I had the, the three jacks hooked up to the blue jack, but that is the SCART input. So obviously that didn't work. The black jack is the actual output, and this is of course supposed to be a composite video output, so it had to be rewired. Problem is, while you can reach the blue jack from the inside without problems, the black jack, the, contact, the contacts to the black jack are hidden by the contacts to the blue jack. So, okay, I thought, okay, you open up the bottom part and do it there. Well, you gotta love the modern service-friendly VCRs. As you can see, the bottom it does have this metal part, but under the metal, it's all plastic, and you, we just have these cutouts for three integrated circuits. So, <laughs> I had to go ahead and I had to use the, the soldering iron to uh, mold the plastic, and I cut out this piece right here so that I could access the uh, contacts right here of the SCART jack. And then I could finally hook up my yellow, white, and red cable. And those are going through the holes right there, which are part of a... Well, this is a place for a jack, but there is no jack, so I use those holes to uh, put the cables through. And this is the other side. You can see the cables coming through right there. And there they are, hooked up to the three... RCA jacks. And uh, this is the blue jack, and those are the contacts where I originally hooked up the, the three jacks. And uh, of course, the contacts of the black jack are hidden by these contacts, so I had to do it the complicated way. Now, you may wonder why does Dr. Cassette put so much work into such a cheap VCR? Well, it's just a cheap and quick and dirty backup VCR, so, you know, and it wasn't as much work as you are probably thinking. It took me less than an hour to do that, so not a big deal. And I had the parts lying around anyway, so, well, that's it. <laughs> so, I uh, hope you enjoyed this video, and see you again soon to another episode of Dr. Cassette's Workshop.